All right. So I want to share how I became, how I went from zero to hero when it comes to working on bicycles. If I can do it, you can do it. So I've been working at a bike shop for like six years. I'm pretty sure it's six years. It'll be six years in February or seven years. One of those. And I, six years ago, or seven years ago, I got into riding a bike. I just bought a bicycle because I, um, at the time, I didn't, wasn't making a lot of money. And I was living in, at a motel in Massachusetts. I couldn't find a place to live. Um, rent was expensive. And the motel was the cheapest. And it was also, it was, it was a comfortable motel. I liked it. I don't, I don't really remember what it was called. Anyways, um, so yeah, I wasn't making a lot of money. I was working at Panera Bread and I wasn't making a lot of money working at Panera Bread. And I was also like, I wanted to get fit. I wanted to lose weight. So I was like, pay a gym and, you know, pay for gas. And also I, I hated sitting in a car when I would commute to work, it was like, what do you call it? It was just, what's that word? Life, like life threatening, one of those things, I don't remember. But anyways, I just hated it. I hated sitting in a car, bumper to bumper, slowly, you know, moving along and just hitting the, the, sitting in the, sitting in that car seat. And just like, you know, you got nowhere to go. And if you had to pee, you know, you had to bring a bottle and pee in it. I hate it. You know, I didn't like it. Some people probably enjoy that. They can listen to like, what do you call it? Uh, podcasts and stuff. But anyways, I hated it. And so what I did, I was, I bought a bicycle and actually my mom bought it for me. But uh, six, seven years ago, you know, um. And I'm grateful that she bought it for me. It was my first ever road bike that I bought from Landry's Bicycles in Massachusetts. And I rode, I rode that thing, like, I think I bought a helmet. But, like, I didn't know about power meters. I didn't know how important cadence was. I didn't know how important air pressure was. I didn't know how to shift from the small ring on the front derailleur to the big ring. I was like always looking at people. I was always looking at people's bikes. Like, how how did they get that chain to the big gear? I literally like, I literally tried to force the chain onto the that big chain ring. Like I I, I pulled it like this and then I I put it on the big chain ring, but then when I pedaled, it just went back to the little one. That's how much I didn't know about bicycles. Um, and then I moved back to Florida. And then there it's flat, you know, it's hot weather. And I started riding every day. I rode to work. I rode hundreds of miles every week. But my bike, I could feel slowly started to like lose its crisp shifting. And the brakes felt, didn't feel as good anymore. And I was just like, you know, I, I wasn't making enough money yet to really afford a bike maintenance at a bike shop. So I tried using YouTube, but it was so confusing. I'm like, I remember, I remember trying to set the low limit and the high limit on the rear derailleur. I was trying to figure out how to, you know, how do you add 10, how do you use the barrel adjuster? How do you use the shifting? All this stuff that I'm, you know, the vocabulary I'm using now, I didn't understand what it was. And I had no one to go ask, you know, um, back then I was using GCN's videos, but like, you know, I could leave a comment and they'll take like a week to respond. Um, I think, I, I don't know. I don't, I think I tried asking a question. I don't, this was like seven years ago, but eventually I had to take it to a bike shop. They did some work on it. I paid for it. Um, so yeah, but I told myself like, you know, I want to get paid, you know, to work on bikes and to learn how to work on bikes. Like, that's awesome. You know, I get paid for learning how to fix something that I, that I, I love using every day. So I went back up to Massachusetts. I applied at Landry's Bicycles. Now they didn't, I applied for a bike mechanic and they said, you know, on the, on the website, no interview, no prior experience required. So I was like, all right, I'll apply. I got the interview. 
I met up with these two guys and, you know, I tried to sell myself. I'm like, you know, I love bicycles. I, I ride, I, I, you know, I, I, when I lived in Florida, I rode hundreds of miles. I did a hundred mile ride every Saturday. Literally, I did do that. You can check my Strava. A hundred mile ride every Saturday. And, you know, on Monday through Friday to work and back, maybe some extra miles. Um, that's what I told him. You know, I love bicycles, you know. Um, I want to work at a bike shop, stuff like that. But, you know, they told me I had to go to the assembly department. So um, the assembly department is where all the bicycles get assembled. Uh, I always thought, I used to think that the assembly department was like, almost like, um, like, oh, we, we put together like cheap bikes or something like that. Like, just throw it on. But now nah, I was wrong. When I got there, it was like... Um, you, you, you do the same thing every day over and over. There's a process, right? You take the bike out of the box and uh, you, you take off the packing, re repeat the same steps. So it becomes muscle memory, right? And then your, your hands become more precise. you it's like you have better hand-eye coordination. Um, and then, you know, you put the bike on the stand, then you start taking out the bolts, I, I, I like to use an impact gun, an impact driver, you know, like take out those bolts um, just because it's easier on the hands and the wrists. But like I've also learned how to just use a tool so much faster, right? For example, I have this Allen key and let's, let's say this is the, this is the bolt. So like wrong, wrong bolt, I mean wrong Allen key. So like, you know, I have the bolt here and I can just go like this. I can... I know how to properly hold the tool so I can continue doing this or like, you know, spinning it. Like you learn so much or like having fun and just be doing that re repetitiveness. So like, uh, what did I do? So like, I learned how to, I, have, I had to keep learning how to set up the, the front brakes, the rear brakes, the shifting, the front derailleur and repeat the same process, repeat the same steps, right? Okay, the first thing when you're setting up a brake, okay, um, you know, take out the bolt, grease it, and then put the bolt back on. I'm talking about the pinch bolt for the cable. And then, you know, okay, so, I mean, this is my process. Maybe the process is a little different for some people, but like, it wa you wanna keep it the same. So for example, like a rim brake on a road bike, you, I pull up the tension on the rim brake all the way, and then I slightly loosen it, and then tighten that bolt. Squeeze the brake lever so that the cable stretches, the housing stretches, and then I get I, I've learned to like get really close. I've learned to be able to like tell how much tension I'm pulling, right? Some people might pull too much or take off too little, um, and they they're still learning. Like you want to learn how to like okay, this if I take out this much or this little, this the brake's gonna feel about close to what you know you want it. So I had to repeat that daily, same thing, pull, pull, let go, stretch, pull, let go, stretch, pull, let go, stretch. And I'd always get close to where I wanted. And eventually that just became second nature. I have, I have that, um, what do you call it, um, precision. And I'm still getting better every, I'm still getting better every day. I haven't been able to work, to, be, to uh, assemble bicycles as much anymore because I became a supervisor. You know, I, I, I showed them, like, I come I came to work when it was snowing outside, when there was a blizzard, uh, when it was, like, you know, super, super cold, freezing rain. I came to work every day. I, I rode 20 miles. How many? That's, like, 40 kilometers, maybe, um, to work. And then, tw you know, 20 miles back. So that's another 40 kilometers, I think, back home. And I just kept doing it. I wanted to learn. I wanted... To learn as fast as I could, you know, so I can get better, so I can start working on other bikes and learning other things. Um, but now, uh, you know, now I mainly fix issues, like, and I teach people how to work on bikes because, I mean, if I could do it, you know, I can teach other people to do it. And people are learning. I'm not the greatest teacher. It's hard for me to explain certain things like I don't really care too much about oh yeah so like the the bolt pivots on this so like when you squeeze that it springs back I don't know just pull this cable stretch it and look it sets right there what more do you need to know 
You know, just just pull it. I mean, the more you do it, the more you'll be able to see it. Oh, okay, you start to understand. For example, like, you know, if like a rim brake, you pull it and you keep doing that. And then you start to look at it. Oh, you notice that the springs work this way. You start noticing certain things. And eventually you, you pick it up. So like, that's how I learned it. Like, I remember I used to ask questions like, hey, how do you, um, why does it, why does, how does the shifting work? You know, the indexing, oh, the pull ratio. Now, some things are good to know, you know, they're good to know for the future. But like, I don't think you should be focusing on how it really works. Just keep doing it until, and then you'll realize it, right? Then you can ask certain questions and things like that. Um, I don't know. Um, rear derailers. I love setting up rear derailers and front derailers. Uh, I'm not much of a mountain bike person. I don't know how to take apart a front suspension or, or overhaul rear suspension. I don't know anything about trail bikes, cross country bikes, enduro bikes, or TT bikes. I just like knowing how to work on my bike so I can save money, not buy a car, and work on my own bike. So I can commute anywhere, everywhere I want to go, you know, burn fat, you know, save money, um, and help other people so that they can, so those of you, like, I don't know how many of you are, are like me where, you know, back six, seven years ago, I, you know, I wanted to work on my bike, but I just didn't know anyone who, who was like-minded, you know, who, who realized like bicycles are the way to go. You don't need a car. Um, over the years, uh, I was tempted to buy a buy a car, um, you know, just because it, it got a little hard and difficult. But anyways, I never bought a car. I still don't have a car. I used to, I don't want a car anymore. Um, you know, and bicycles can do it all. Like you can you can haul stuff, and um, you can have two people on a bike. And you can park almost anywhere. And you meet people on the streets. You become more social. You, you see someone. You wave. Hi. You know. You ride with friends. You become fitter. And it just helps with your like mood. And your changes your outlook on life. Anyways, that's how I learned. It's about repetition. You know. If you, wanna, if you want some lessons on how to work on your rear derailleur. You can hit me up. I could try to help you out. Um, I try to make videos. Uh, follow my TikTok. I, I try to post a lot of like bicycle stuff. Um, sometimes on YouTube I'll do that. But my TikTok is, uh, I think is Henry is vegan. Same thing as my YouTube channel. So look me up there. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.